This is an unboxing of the XO Flow menstrual cup by Glad Rags. This is a brand new cup to the market, uh, January 2017. If you're interested in information about this menstrual cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. So this is an unboxing of the XO Flow Menstrual Cut by Glad Rags, and obviously I already did open my package and I took some pictures. If uh, you are following me on Instagram, I did post it on there. I did do a short video on Boomerang, and I do have to apologize uh, if Glad Rags does see either my little video or any of my photos, I did uh, add on a W to Flow, so I, I, I'm so sorry about that. Websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. I don't have a discount for Glad Rags, but I do know that if you sign up with their newsletter on their website, you can either get um, a discount on one of their cloth liners or even uh, free shipping. I did get free shipping on my order using uh, or entering my email address. If you find something helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe. So the white piece of paper that I had uh, previously uh, did state that this is not plastic. It is an uh, eco-friendly material. Uh, that white paper also had a return information and some information about if you are a first-time user, uh, how to contact the company, uh, videos, FAQs, and whatnot. In the back, and I didn't even know this until right now, it does have my invoice on it. So um, according to my invoice, I did pay $30. That was their introductory price. Um, the regular price of this cup will be $35. And I did have a discount, like I said, um, when I signed up for their newsletter for free shipping. So my cup did come out to, well, actually I had 30 cent re reward um, a credit to my account. I don't know what for, uh, but my cup came out to twenty nine seventy with that discount. But uh, if you picked it up during the introductory price, uh, it would have been $30. They did sell out of these cups quite quickly. I believe they got released on the 6th. I ordered on the 6th. And by the 10th, they said that they had uh, sold out. So they were going to get in another shipment, but it was going to be within or it wasn't going to be in. Um, until about three weeks later. So after the three weeks, when they get their shipment, uh, it takes probably about one and a half to two weeks before they actually send it out to you. So if you had ordered and you didn't get yours yet, you'll have to be patient. And if you're waiting to order this, you still um, have some time to order before they stop uh, offering this cup at the introductory, introductory price. So here's their brand new pamphlet with their brand new cup. Um, I'll go ahead and just kind of flash it real quick and you can pause this if you need to. And here is the pouch that my cup came with. It's just really simple. It's got drawstring on one side and this is just like a cotton cord. And here is my XO Flow cup. So um, I'll go ahead and start off with the stem. I did have a full stem here and when I I just got the cup and I took some video of it, I stretched on it, I pulled it probably like this, just like that, and the tip snapped off. That silicone right there is really, really thin and uh, so the that little that last little ball snapped. Um but there's still two more grip balls on this cup and they feel really uh, sturdy. It doesn't feel like these are going to snap off. I hope not. Um, I probably will cut this off if I end up liking this cup and use it consistently. There isn't really a seal between the stem and the cup, so make sure you do leave some of the stem intact when you go to trim the stem if you need to trim it down. 
There are no grip rings on this cup. In fact, there are no markings on this cup, no secondary rim, uh, no top rim, nothing like this on the outside of the cup. The only thing that's on the outside of this cup is right here where it says made, uh, sorry, USA made, and you can just barely see that right above the air hole there. And that is raised, but it's not raised a whole bunch off of this. Let me see if I can even hear it. Can you hear that? Since there really aren't any other kind of markings on the outside of this cup to mention, I'll go straight for the seams. There are two seams on this cup. One is right here, and you can see it going down the body of the cup. It goes up and around the stem and back up the other side. The second seam is right on the very top of this rim. Yes, there is a rim. It is inside of the cup, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but these seams are, are they're, they're barely feelable. <laughs> I can barely feel them. Uh, it seems like the line down the body of the cup, I could feel more than I can feel the one that's on the top of the rim. So if I just kind of brush my fingers like this over that rim, I don't really feel that secondary or that uh, seam. But this one, I can brush my fingers against the, the cup and feel that seam there. There are two air holes on this cup. So you can see both of them right there, and they start from the inside being the highest point and then uh, going di diagonally down um, uh, to the lower point. And you can see the travel line of that uh, hole there. And these I would consider kind of a, a, a more medium size. They do look pretty large right here on screen, but they're not too large. And now for the inside of the cup, which is so unique. Uh, this is a really cool design. You wonder why other companies haven't come up with it before. So the rim, like I had mentioned, is on the inside of this cup. And their XO design is right down in there. And you can see it really well. So there are two O's. Here is one O. And here is the other O, and where they meet and cross over each other is where it creates that X right there. And it is inside, and it's pretty smooth. They're low rise, so it's not like really far out or protruding off of the cup itself. So it should be really easy to clean. If you're sensitive to all those bumps, you'll be happy that everything is on the inside. Uh, nothing is going to give you any problems. The silicone is nice and smooth and you won't have any speed bumps on the way in or the way out. According to the pamphlet that came with this cup, they say to use the X's as place marks. So you would put your fingers on these X's to pinch and fold the cup. And it kind of feels the same wherever I pinch down on the cup. The only thing I can think of is that when you pinch on these X's and fold it, it places one of the air holes right in that pocket. And so when you do insert it, it has some room to grab air and be able to spring open a lot easier. This XO design it acts kind of like a secondary rim, but it's on the body of the cup. And it makes that area a little bit more firm to pop open. It's a, a very ingenious design, and I just think it's going to help a lot of people that have problems getting their cups to open. So this is a bell shape or hoop skirt uh, design here, and uh, it is kind of a long cup. I'm not sure if it's going to work really well with somebody that has a low cervix, just because it does... The body of the cup is quite long, and I'll go ahead and bring out my Super Jenny in a little bit. Um, but the the uh, 
capacity of this cup is 38 milliliters to the holes so right there um, I didn't measure this myself I just took the number off of the website so I don't know what kind of number I would come out with um, and I don't know the full capacity of this cup to the very rim the rim is 45 millimeters in diameter the uh, total length of this cup when it did have the little um, end of the stem on here is 86 millimeters and without the stem is 55 millimeters. I don't know where they measure to because remember I said that you do have to leave a little nub on this stem when you cut it um, so that you don't cut into the cup. So uh, if they measure like right at the very very bottom being 55 mil millimeters or if they take into account that you do have to leave some of that stem intact. For now this cup only comes in one size and I don't know if they have plans in the future to make a smaller size but it would be great if they did. I think this is a great shape um, but I think it would probably be a little bit too long for uh, quite a bit of people so having that second option would be nice. This cup only comes in this clear white. Uh, it is a little opaque. You can uh, see through it, but you can't see uh, very good details or anything. I haven't wet this cup yet, haven't washed it or anything. Uh, so this is dry and it feels a little bit grippy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch my fingers down. You can see how hard I'm pinching by my fingers turning white and I'm gonna pull my fingers across and my fingers don't move very fast um, over this cup so it does have a good grip at least while it's dry. I did take some pictures and posted them on Facebook and at least one of the um, groups, the menstrual cup groups that I'm in, uh, so you might have seen these already, but the, the three cups that people will probably most likely ask me about are the Super Jenny, the Lena Cup and the Lolly Cup. Um, so here is uh, the XO Flow cup in comparison to the sizes. Um, so these are going to, or the XO Flow cup is going to be very hard to do uh, squish comparisons to because it has that um, XO design that, like I said, acts kind of like a secondary rim through the body. The areas that don't have those XO designs are softer than the areas that do have those XO designs. So it's going to be really hard for me to give give you a really good reading on how firm or how soft this cup is. Um, the rim seems fairly soft to me. The body is more firm than that rim is. Um, I forgot to do the rim here, so I'll bring my lolly cup back in. Um, it, it might be, the body might be a little bit too firm for some people down just in this area right here at the base. Uh, in this area where it kind of V's, those two areas V right there, it gets a lot softer. Um, so if you do like the Super Jenny, but you have a hard time getting it to open, this cup might actually be really uh, easy for you to get to open. So good option and good capacity. Well, that's all I have about the XO Flow Cup at this time. Uh, if I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And also let me know down below if you had ordered this cup, if you received it, or if you're still waiting for it. Uh, I hope it comes soon if you're still waiting. I know it sucks to wait for packages. Until I see you next time, take care.